Yo, what up, dawg? Sports and music every Tuesday with Mo Egger. Let's get it. Uh. But meanwhile, uh, I'm doing me. Y'all should go and do y'all. Real talk, I ain't worried about you goofballs. See, I got coyotes in my new yard. So high up in the hills, man, I'm looking like a new star. Ghetto, cause that's a sign of a come up. I done came a long way from that crib up on Homer. And that 91 Dynasty mama used to drive Focus, hope, and food steps But kept us alive Cause in the D you better be stronger than Club Lane. Don't stunt, they ain't playing with them hunger games Cause like cream corn, they be running things From your Artemir rocks to your onion rings But I've been to Africa so long I started clicking Eating game and fried chicken like it's my religion Two planes I'm in the building. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Center of attention. Uh, yeah. We back once again. Sports and music with Mo Ager Bruh. and Yannick. Bruh. You know, uh, my special co-host, Tris Dave, is not available today. But, you know, she'll be back next week, man. We in here. Trying not to make too much mu- movement in the camera. But, yeah, this is sports and music. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend. You know, we had a really good weekend. Shout out to Nahi. We had a good little birthday celebration. Yeah. Yeah, we got turned. We got turned. Yeah. That was a good situation. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's good to have you guys again. You know, this, we on Easy Way Broadcasting, yeah. Easy Way TV, doing the big, making the best out of every situation we get. So this is sports and music. Let me explain what sports and music is. And then after that, I'm going to explain to you guys who I am, Maurice Ager. But, yo, sports and music. You know, we're going to be talking about sports, music, entertainment, entrepreneurship, Keeping it real, staying down to earth. But for the most part, you know, this is not your typical anchorage type show. You know, we talk about things that really happens, like, you know, uh, sports and music, game. Brandon Jennings, they got to a little scuffle this weekend. You know, Brandon Jennings is a, a point guard that's played, that he's playing for the Detroit Pistons. But, you know, apparently he got bop, 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 bop by the game. And game is a rapper. So I guess that's sports and music. But it's in a different type of light you know it's not the most positive thing in the world but anyway that's sports and music and every week we're going to have someone special on you know this week you know we're just going to be chopping it up me and my man Yannick talking about issues things that's going around in the industry how to make it in the industry we all is trying to make it we all out here striving but I'm Ari Saker Detroit Michigan Michigan State played five years professional played in the NBA been doing music all my life now I'm doing doing it full time I'm entrepreneur Entertainer, entertainer, <laughs> just just working hard, man. I need to introduce my boy though, Yannick Beats. Holla at him, doggy. What up? My name is Yannick Beats. I'm a producer, entrepreneur. Uh, I'm from anywhere you're from, USA. Uh, by the way of New Mexico, uh, went to move to uh, Phoenix. Did a couple things for Amari Stoudemire. Uh, did some music for them, and then uh, I left and I came to LA. And this is where I currently reside. I got a shoe coming out. How at your boy? Yeah, I, we doing it. Got a script. Shoes, baby. We do scripts. We got a show. I mean, what else? I don't know what else to tell y'all, man. I don't. I don't even like talking to y'all. I just rather show you the product. <laughs> I rather, rather show y'all the product before before I start talking. You, you know sound what I'm like Jesus. I don't even like talking to y'all. I don't even like talking. Don't speak to, y'all, to yourself. Man. I don't even like talking to y'all. <laughs> just just watch. It's all good. Hey, you just got to watch. Right, Because, you right. know, that's that's the main thing, you know, because there's a lot of individuals in the world that, you know, they'll talk your head off about what they have going on. Yeah. But, you know, I still like to talk about some of the things, you know, so when people go back and document it, they be like, oh, yeah, he talked about that a while ago, a while ago on his yeah. show. Right. But, you know, Did we that. actually putting these things together, man. Lord willing, man, everything is going to come to, you know, for, you know. But for the most part, man, we have a few things going on in the world. Yo, shout out to Shaq. Shout out to Shaq. Shaq Diesel, you know. Yeah, man. Um, um, yeah, minority sh- owner of the Sacramento uh, Kings. Wow, I know he had paper. Like I, oh, I yeah. knew he, he had Shaq paper. Shaq got dough. But it's like the King. What does he see in the Kings? Maybe he knows a little something more than just. Are they gonna move? Are they moving still? Because I heard they're gonna go to Virginia, and then they said they weren't mm, gonna go to Virginia. I'm not sure, but I mean, I mean, ultimately, you know, once you're a former NBA pl- basketball player, anytime you can have an opportunity. To actually buy into any team, right. it's a big deal. You know, right. Sacramento Kings haven't been good since 
Chris Dang. Webber, Paja, Doug Christie, back. Bobby Jackson, yeah, Bobby ja- yeah. Jason Williams, yeah. White Chocolate. White Chocolate. <laughs> hey, remember White Dwight Ch- Chocolate said the he NBA. Was, he <laughs> he was, said the NBA was uh, modern day slavery. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're paying people millions of dollars, I want to be a slave to the NBA. If they gonna pay me millions of dollars, I'll be a slave to the NBA. Yeah, it's all good, man. But yeah. So shout out to Shaq. You know, that's major. That's pretty big, though. Man. You know why it's so major? Because you know, for years when he was with the Lakers, Sacramento Kings were the rival. Right, right. You know, remember but he those? He can't afford the Lakers, though. Nobody can afford the Lakers. Yeah, you see, Magic Johnson. Only reason why Magic Johnson got a piece of him is because that's part of his contract. I never knew that. You never knew that. I never yeah. Knew that. So when he did that deal, he did the lifetime deal. Was they were gonna pay? They were paying mm. twenty five million dollars a year lifetime deal. This was in the, like the late eighties. Wow. They had a twenty five million dollar deal a year till he retired. Till whenever he retired. In addition, they gave him like a, a little percentage of the of the Lakers. Did he ever retire? Yeah, he retired. Or did he? I never really did he ever officially retire. I, I never really him, never heard him like announce it. Cause I remember when he left, he was a point guard. But when he came back, he was a power forward. Right. Remember. <laughs> All right, right, man. We need to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. This is sports and music with Mo Ager, and um, I'm so generous. I'm gonna give my man's mark a little bit of time to get the commercial ready. Let's get it, man. Oh. He said it was illegal to watch. Yeah, it was. It was. Right? <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Welcome back, Sports and Music. What Yo, up? shout out to Glacier Water. Shout out to Easy Way TV. Easy Y'all see it in the background. Let me get out the way. Uh, we're right back. Yeah. But check us out, man. We over talking about the, <laughs> the UFC. The UFC, man. The UFC. Yeah. My I boy Yannick said it was illegal to watch at one point. Yo, like, for real. No, no. When I was young, man, like, you had to, like, you had to have parent. Yeah, they had, it was like rated R. Yeah. So they used to have, like, the, the tapes. The videotapes come out every, like every year. There was a videotape. It was like UFC one, UFC two. Yeah. And at the time, this was like when I was young. It was probably UFC sixteen when I remember. Man, but so, there, there so, were no weight classes, no. There was rules, no weight class. They were just all going at it. There were no rounds. Yeah, and it the was fight every would size. go until someone was gave up or was down. Right, and it was every size for every size. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? like corned beef. Show his face. But John Jones probably the, the they say the best fight. Ever for UFC was John Jones versus I don't know how to say the guy's last name. The other guy, Alexander guys. Gustafson. Jeez. Alexander Gustafson. That's the after the fight. John Jones is the black dude. Right. Uh, the white what? dude, of course, is the other. But man, dang, did he get a? They didn't even go to the post fight press conference. They went straight to the hospital. Yeah. Wow. They got it in on each yeah, other. Yeah, they were. Pause. Yeah, they were really. They were really just. They were beating each other up, dude. Like it was bad. It was. 
I mean, John Jones, like he threw, he threw them elbows. So like there was like he could because the punches weren't working because um Alex, was it Alexander right yeah. his knuckles he, were probably broke yo Alexander could take every punch like it was like whatever but when he threw them elbows he was still taking the elbows but it was like he had to really put in work but both of them man yeah. shout out to both of them they're both like real G's it man seemed like the white guy bounced back a little faster yeah which but is he, weird he still lost yeah. Because John hey. Jones is the best. Well, the thing is, John Jones is the best, and he's like the he he's, he was about to break a record for the longest title right. defenses, like the most title defenses in light heavyweight. Right. So uh, unless the other guy won convincingly, they would have given it to John Jones. Right, right, right. He had right. to like he can decision would have gone to John Jones. Yeah, of course. That's no just like with, that's just like with with with, uh, with boxing. Oh, we got to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, that too. Canelo versus Floyd Mayweather. Look, let me tell you. Oh, Hold on. Let me let me holler. Let me, where's the we camera? Right where's here, the camera? We got a camera. Uh-oh. Call him in. Uh oh. Hold on one second. Hold on, caller. Give Hold us on. one one second. We're trying to get these headphones. One second. Sports and music. With do, we have a, do we have somebody calling in? Special. We got a caller. Let's we go. Because we're about to talk about boxing. I think this might be a this, boxer. Is this a is this a boxer? Where I plug this in at? This the the boxer. Okay. Is this a we keep it so real on sports music. Yo, caller, holla at us. Oh. Oh. Still there? Hello? Yo, yo. Nice they got on the call again. Is that yeah. what? Lost all, him. I think we lost him, but all good. All good. So back with the with Canelo Mayweather. Shout out to Mayweather for showing everybody Classy. that he is a <laughs> champion. <laughs> Flash. Now, no, no, he from the mitten. What up, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. Michigan Shout in the Flint, building. Flint, Michigan. Uh, right nah, he, from the, he from Grand Rapids. He from Grand Rapids? Close okay. enough. There you go. Hey, money team. Yo, <laughs> he had to Flash. show everybody why he is the greatest tactical and smartest fighter of all time. History. Of history. He's so fast. I was watching. I was. I watched the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Canelo threw one punch. And, and shout out to Canelo. He's going to be a great fighter. Dude is, dude is 46 or 46 and 1. He's 23. Hmm. 46 and 1. He's 23. Okay? The dude has a power. But which it don't matter if you have power if you don't have if you don't have speed. If you can't catch the dude to knock him out, then how are you going to win? That's difficult. Yo, Canelo threw one punch. Dog. They did it in slow motion. Canelo threw one punch, right? At the time that he threw one punch, Floyd Mayweather had already thrown three at the same time and connected. <laughs> and connected. Floyd Mayweather connected with 50% of his punches. Connect four. Yeah. <laughs> Canelo connected with 22%. That's a problem. You know why it's a problem? Because when you're Floyd Mayweather, you're the fastest. You're the greatest. It's the money team. It's the money team. He's real. He's real. I don't think. I'm be honest with you. I don't see any fighter right now who can who can kind of touch him because you got to be. Well, they also say he picks and chooses his opponents. He should. As he should. He should. He's the champion. Why, why should he? He's the world champion. I mean, who else? Do well, we if need you're to the pick? world champion, he should take on anyone. Who 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 can who hasn't he beat? Manny Pacquiao. Would he, <laughs> fight him? he hasn't fought Manny. He no, he won't fight him. Why not? Because Pacquiao wants to do fifty percent, fifty percent. Are you serious? We're going to split the purse? I'm undefeated. You're not. I'm the world champion. You're not. I'm not going to give you 50%. That was not going to work. And Mayweather was smart for that. Call in, call. Call in, guys. I just tweeted uh, the call in number. That's 323-965-1600. 1600-nothing. If you think if you think what I'm saying is wrong, holla at me. Holla let's, at let's us. Let's debate this. Let's, let's debate, debate this. Hey. And it's cool because, you know, uh, you know, Pacquiao, he got a few endorsements. Maybe the Henny. Yeah, he got hey. Nike. But Money Mayweather ain't got none. He got none. Dude, people don't realize he's the richest athlete. <laughs> he's a Griffin Motor, too. Who? Uh, Mayweather. Mayweather with Griffin Motors? Oh, what do you say? Uh, I thought you were talking about Floyd Mayweather. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I am. Oh, you are, yeah. yeah. I'm saying he's a Griffin Motor, oh, not yeah, just yeah. a fighter. Yeah, that, that's why. I mean, yeah. he's, he's, the, he's the richest athlete without an endorsement deal. Because every other athlete... Who's rich has an endorsement deal. That's the reason why they're so rich. Yeah. Tiger Woods, Nike. LeBron James, Nike. Ronaldo, from uh, that's Nike. Nike, yeah. You know what I mean? They're giving out the biggest deals. But Mayweather doesn't have not one single deal. Not one. He don't want one. He don't want one. He making what? He like 250, 300 mil? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. 
It's all good. So we want to talk about since we talking about people that's wild, you know, this that, and the other. Um, I have one question: Who you think will win in a in a UFC fight between, uh, let's say, DMX or Doctor Phil? Oh man, Doctor Phil, tough. Oh man, who will win in the fight? Man, I'm not even gonna answer that question, bro. Let's watch the teaser, DMX. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. You decided running naked in the hotel was a good idea. Meet the man behind the crime headlines. Are you $1 million behind in child support? Daddy belongs to the world. Daddy may belong to the world, but his responsibility are to his children. Rapper DMX. Unless you know what you're talking about, you shouldn't say it. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Call me Dr. Phil. I can't wait to watch that. Man, uh... Who do you think will win that battle? They already filmed the episode, but at the end of the day, call in, guys. Y'all want to talk about DMX and Dr. Phil? Uh, Who's going to win that battle? But it's... It, ow. DMX owes a million dollars in child support. Yeah, he can pay that off. Huh? He can pay that off real quick. With what? Tour. Only problem is... Only problem is he can't leave the country. I didn't know he can leave the... Well, he can... Can he leave the state? Well, oh, yeah, he actually... Yeah, yeah, he he yeah. got caught streaking in Detroit. Yeah, hotel. yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he can... Li- you know what? Before I say anything, shout out to Dame Grease, my mentor... <laughs> Shout out Greece. Shout out to Rough Riders, Lake Crew. But you know, D has D. I think D has issues. DMX has. He definitely. Everybody knows he has issues. Every show that he's ever ever on, they talk about his issues. Do you think? Do you think Doctor Phil can help him? You know, because he's you know he's Doctor Phil. Hell no. It's a rap. It's a. Doctor Phil ain't help. Name somebody Doctor Phil that helped. <laughs> For real. Know. I mean, even the rehab. Remember the rehab show with the the other dude, the other doctor. Yeah. They say that's the worst thing that ever happened to those celebrities because they're putting on French Street and they're showing their rehab. It's like it's and it's real. God, how do you feel about it? I think, um, first of all, his life is one thing. Has it infe- has it affected his music per se? Like you know, he's he's DMX. Has it really affected his music? You know, just by him being just a, a loose cannon over these. These years, you know, because some guys, yeah. you know, they, they wild out, but they still put out music to where it's right. like, okay, um, what about him? Yeah, he's, yeah, it's affected him. Yeah, I mean, first three albums were, to me, the first album was classic. Yeah. Flesh of My Flesh. Blood of My Blood. Was Blood of My Blood. That was, that was, that was classic. Oh, uh, my niggas get the third down one, like what? Yeah, the third one was, what was it called? Then There Was X? Then There Was that X. Was, that was cool. It was a drop off. It was like the drop off of the Grand DMX. Champ. The Grand but Champ was like the Grand Champ. After mm. Grand Champ, the fourth, it was over. Gabbage. There was nothing else I wanted to hear from from DMX. <laughs> no disrespect, but it was just really nothing. You could just tell it was just it was something was wrong. It was over. But it was like it has affected him. You know what I'm saying? It's sad because I want to be I want to be the producer to bring him back because he's one hit away from being back in the, in the, in the, in the, in the subject. You know, you know what? Because I mean? he's gotten more chances than. Lindsay Lohan. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We always yeah. talk about like a white and black issue, but I feel like, you know, DMX has gotten more chances than a lot of our celebrities, you know, because yeah. Lindsay Lohan, she's she's obviously going through her issues, but I think X is, he's yeah. been in jail at least 10 see, times a year in yeah. the past six years. But see, that's you, what it seemed like. You just, said the, you just said the actual problem. What? DMX went to jail. Lindsay doesn't go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. See, there's the issue. That's the issue. She just like, goes to rehab. She goes to rehab. He goes to rehab after four or five visits of going to jail. Like, hmm. I feel like what's weird is that the drug dealer, he doesn't, the, the, you know, a drug dealer doesn't really, doesn't really, most of the drug dealers don't really do the drugs, right? No. But they do the most time. But the person who does the drugs who affects the rest of the world with their, <laughs> they get off. Shenanigans. They go to rehab. They go, they do, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's a weird situation. Lindsay Lohan, she done does so much stuff. Like everybody wishes that she goes to jail. She don't go to jail. Why? I don't want to say, but everybody knows what it is. Is you? I know what it is. Oh. I know what it is. What is it? Disney okay. money. Disney money. Disney money. <laughs> Disney, Disney money, man. Is she, was she with Disney or am I just tripping? D- she, yeah, she did movies with Disney. Yeah. Anybody who's a young star... And becomes a celebritant <laughs> is was was with Disney. Miley, Selena Gomez, uh, 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 uh. Selena's still somewhat clean though. I mean, as far as we know, Justin's still with her too. Justin Bieber's still with her, so something must be popping. 
She so, I mean, she keeps her, her image really clean. She does a good job. See, I don't know what she I does. I hope she keep it up, too, man. Because, I mean, you know, I get tired of these celebrities, man. You know, that they get old enough to just wild out, man, just because they want to wild out. And they can. I like, like it. I, I don't, man. I, I like, like I like Bieber when he was just good, the good guy, you know, doing his thing. I don't like the Bieber running around with little twists all the time thinking it's cool. <laughs> I just but don't look, like it. You think yourself, look at Raven Simone. Raven Simone was good. Yeah. She she was super Disney. She made hella money. Yeah. And she was good. Everybody else, the Ash, the Olsen twins, they weren't. I mean, they they didn't they really. Went hit, phase. They went through a phase, but it wasn't. They weren't. They weren't, they weren't like. Who are they with? They were a full house. They, they were just no, childhood they did, stars. They, had the, they still had their own shows and all. Uh, yeah, they were the, childhood stars. They were still childhood stars, still related with Disney. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They were. They had uh, those movies, the little kid movies, not just Full House. Remember, those was just the twins. Oh, yeah, those were the, yeah, twins oh. take over. What twins take over Twin Cities? You be like, what? Twins take over New York? You be like, what? I think it's a difference, though. I think they fell into different issues, maybe drugs or alcohol related problems that leads to more issues. I f- right. I feel like you know some of these these kids, their characters just completely change, and people get mad at me because I'm like, yo, I feel like, all right, here's the facts. I feel like if an artist continues to stay clean. And, and take that route, I think they have a, a longer career. I think they get more endorsements. I think um, they probably you know, they make more money. Like, ultimately, I, I, that's what I think, you know. Or I could be wrong. But, I, hey, man, the, the mean, proof is in the pudding at this point. You know what? I, 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 think, I, think, you're, I think you're right on the on, on majority of that. I think the problem is, is that the media requires some type, some type of negativity for you yeah. in order for you to grow as as big as you can be like there has to be s- yeah they have to sell they have to make money right they have to make money that's so. absolutely correct that that kind of leads me to my next point you know we talk about you know chris brown and the jay-z recently chris brown yeah. um you know called out jay-z mm-hmm. basically saying like well you know if 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 i did something you know jay-z did this that basically dry snitching mm-hmm. which is the number one rule in the black community you just don't do man we know what jay-z did Come on, and we man. saw what you. We never saw Jay Z, <laughs> right? Sell drugs. Yeah, I wasn't but, alive. But we we saw Rihanna afterwards when her face looked like yeah, pumpkin pie. Up. Yeah, look, man, Chris, homie, just stay out of the news. I beg you, just stay <laughs> out of the news. You, I, I know you want to voice your opinion, my guy, but please stay out. I nobody nobody wants to hear what you got to say. Just you were doing so good. He was coming out with great music, great music, and then he just wants to talk some more. He just please just shut it, please, <laughs> dude. I beg of you, Jay Z. <laughs> Jay Z. Everybody knows what Jay Z did. Everybody knows what Diddy has done. Yeah. Everybody knows what Fifty Cent has done. Everybody knows what Tiger Woods did. Everybody knows what Bill Gates did. Everybody what Bill knows, Gates do? Everybody knows what Bill Gates stole. Did. Yes, what, what Schwarzenegger did. That was trifling. Bill Gates stole technology. He did? Hell yeah. Who he stole technology from? Steve Jobs. What? You don't. Oh my God. If I go into the story about Bill Gates is a thug, he's the first internet thug. Straight up. He Hold was on. the first computer thug. He stole from Steve Jobs? Yes, man. He stole technology from Steve Jobs. For real, man. Bill Gates, Bill Gates, we gotta stole find a lot of his technology from other people. Hey, Mark, who were if you can at. find that online, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't. You don't believe it? No. DOS for like nothing. For nothing, he <laughs> raped, he raped the computer era. He bought what? But he didn't steal it. I mean, he was just smart about it. He paid like nothing. For they all, that's the, and that's the thing, right? That's what, the person that had it didn't know what it was worth. Right. If it's smart, yeah, people that's say cool. it's smart if you, you know, if you don't get caught. It's, it's not stealing if you don't get caught, right? Yeah, I think it's smart if we don't go to commercial break. So uh, we got to get ready to go to a commercial break in a minute. I ain't know about what these guys are. Steve, sorry, rest in peace. Bill, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. But that's what it is. I know you somewhere chilling with your soft shoes on, comfortable, rich, with your khakis, your slacks, and your shades. Man, half the money he he makes, he gives it back anyway. So we got to go to a commercial break. This is Sports and Music with Mo Ager and Yannick Beach. Let's get it. A fine watch does more than tell time. It makes a statement. Havana watches. Fine watches exclusively for you. Sophisticated Havana dress watches. Men's and women's styles. Your elegant timepiece. Sporty Havana casual watches. Trendy styles in hip colors. Your go-everywhere watch. Your Havana watch is backed by our top-to-bottom one-year warranty. Visit HavanaWatches.com. 
Habano Watches. Fine watches exclusively for you. I slid right back into that real smooth. I was talking about something else. But yeah, we back again. Easy Way TV. You know, I would like to take a quick second just to talk about the Easy Way broadcast launch that we have on September 29th. And um, that's in a couple days, actually. And it's going to be major, major, man. Over 150 guests confirmed. Celebrities from everywhere, you know, a bunch of celebrities. You know, we want you guys to come down and join us. And we're going to be broadcasting the first episode of Easy Way Live Talk 10 p.m. that night, September 29th, and it's going to be a good time. You know, we're going to all be out here. We're going to be fly. What you going to be wearing? What you going to rock, fam? I don't even know, man. I don't know. What you wearing, Mark? I don't know. Never think about it. I don't know what I'm wearing either. <laughs> but, you know, we're just going to be in the building fly. We're going to have dinner. Dinner at like 6. You know, it's like dinner kind of expensive, though. It's like $25 a plate. But, you know, that plate better be nice and big. I'm talking about a Flintstone size type plate you know what i mean put a dino leg on her but yeah we're we gonna be out here man september 29th that's sports and music too and so we just expanding everything so man what's what else popping bro you know you know blake griffin he just had a baby so congratulations to blake griffin congratulations man it was kind of crazy because he had a, it's, it's by matt liner's baby mother I, they, they share said. they sharing girls and no, that's that's not a problem right <laughs> that's not that's not that's not a problem in sports in the sports industry to share women? Well, the same one. It was funny, you know, another man's, what, trash is another one's treasure? treasure. That's... But recently they broke up, so what is it now? Ooh. Yeah, well, she's getting paid. She banking. She, oh, <laughs> she getting That's crazy. paid. I didn't, want, I didn't even want to go there. I just want to congratulate Blake Griffin on the newborn child. No, congratulations. But That's great. you know what? She's about to get a lot of money, man, because oh, child yeah. support is a beast. We just talked about DMX and how he's Oof. he's a million dollars behind on child support. <sighs> athletes. Years. Athletes. Superstars. I don't. Strap up. If you're going to do it, just, just strap up, man. Because 18 years. 18 years. In 18 years, he found out it wasn't his. That's that could happen too. But oh, and it that does happen. That does happen. Um, child support. But you know that, that Nas, a Nas or a gang in child support. It's like he has to keep coming out with albums man. just because the simple fact of the you child know. support is is through the roof for him. Well, right he has now. well, he has two kids, right? Uh, he has his a daughter, daughter and the son. And the son. That's yeah, it. but the son is the one that's causing like. Well, the well the reason why, and you know. I, Nas is my favorite rapper of all time, but mm. he 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 messed up. He messed up on this one because if you're gonna now, granted, what I'm saying right now is gonna sound really bad, but if you're gonna get a girl pregnant, right, she's gonna be your baby mama. At least let the baby mama be a girl who can't really afford lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Or great lawyers. I'm saying be <laughs> what? because he had he got Khalees pregnant. She, she was married to her. Yes, she got paper already. She doesn't have paper. She actually just she got a four hundred thousand dollar payoff to give her a little bit of relief, but bro, she owes a lot in taxes too. Bro, bro, yeah, she's gonna get some of that. She's already gonna get the uh, alimony. What is it called? Uh, uh, alimony. alimony. She's oh, already getting alimony. Yeah, she's already getting alimony payments because she has to upkeep with the way that she was with Nas. So she, Nas is already paying for her. But that's the thing. Like, so who's to say Nas have it? She's the only one who can say it, <laughs> and the courts. But this is the problem. Nas cheated on her. Nas made Nas made this. This is what happened. Nas right. did this. Nas messed up, huh? Nas. He knows he did. He said it. He said it on his album. He, you know, he. What he, he said. did it. He said that he did it. He cheated on. He cheated on her. You know what I'm saying? With a girl, he wished that it never happened, but that's what happened. I mean, so you can't be mad at Khalees for coming after that dough. Real talk. You know what talk. I'm saying? Because they got a kid to raise, and he's not there because he, you know, he out there doing what he want to do. But I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. Now, how you feel about that? I just feel like you know, um, it's just so prevalent in, in our society, man. And it seems like it's it's highlighted, especially in the black community, where you know. Fathers and, yeah. and rappers and, and sports players, and, you know, there's just oh, all this money and child support, man. And and, and it's, it's disturbing, man, because it's like nobody learns from nobody's mistake, you know. It's, right. Not to say a child is a mistake, but um, 
you know, just the circumstances, you know, and, and these women are cutthroat, man. Oh, these women are ruthless, cutthroat. Ruthless. My mama taught me a long time ago. And she's like, nah, I mean, I got me a good one. Shout out to my baby. Hey, baby. But, um, yeah, man, it, it, the women are cutthroat out here, man. They, 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 if you hoop, you play a, man, they out to get you. Jersey they chasers, better. And some of these, some of these girls' mothers are teaching their daughters. Oh, thing. yes. Oh, yes. I, I'm not going to say, right. I'm not going to say the lady that I know whose daughter is just, is just a straight whatever, but she's in the <laughs> industry right now. She's in the game right now. And she's currently on, uh, I think she's on Dancing with the Stars. What? But her mom used to pimp her out. Pimp her daughter? Al- uh, allegedly. Like, hey, you should get with so-and-so, get with so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. And used wow. to, that's, that's how they was making money, getting paper off that. Who are they? You know, I can't say the ours. All I can say is, you know, Dancing with the Stars this season. She's, All right. You know, she's winning. I thought we was on sports and music with Mo Ager. That's we music. Had, I know, but we at the crib. <laughs> Who are you talking about, bro? Say I name. allegedly heard the Dreams baby mama. Christina? Christina. Million? Nick Cannon's ex-girl. And several others. Million. That's what I heard, allegedly. Sheesh. That her mom got her in that. Mm. You know who else's mom used to do that, too? Who After um, Mike Tyson's um, ex, Robin Gibbons. Robin Gibbons. Robin Gibbons' mom. Oh, Robin Gibbons' been, yeah. She yeah. Was, she went and got hers. Yeah, I saw, the, I saw the Mike Tyson, um, the Mike Tyson. Um, um, the documentary. No, not the documentary, the actual stand-up that he oh. had. I actually went. He talked about the whole situation. He was, like, showing pictures of, like, her, like, of uh, Robin Gibbons and him hanging out. Like going somewhere and sees the mama would be in the car, what, wow. looking at him. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I actually, you know what's crazy? The reason why I'm not ashamed because I mean I keep it real. Mm-hmm. I actually talked about that in the song. Um, I said, I said, what happened? I feel like I said, what happened? I feel I'm robbed in the world I live in. Will people take more than they give? Like robbing givens. Like, hey man, it is what it is. That's public knowledge. That's, that's anyway, true. Uh, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Let's it's talk true. about some football, man. You know, let's talk about the Peyton Manning snapping last night, getting close to 400 yards. Peyton he back. Care. Peyton don't care about nobody. He don't care about nobody right now. He's like, dude, he, for him, he knows he has this year and next year, and that's it. He is Super Bowl or bust right now, and he's beating, he's beating them up. You think, so basically, if he don't win a Super Bowl in the next two years, he's going to retire? Oh, yeah. He's old, man. Yeah. He's, he's he's old. I mean, he doesn't really have. Well, he knows he has something to prove. His brother got two. His brother? How many? He has two. No, he doesn't. He only he has, has one. one. That's it. Yeah. Could have sworn Peyton Manning had. Nah, one. man. Nope. He has one. His little brother got two. And they're wow. ri- they they like huge rivals. Matter of fact, tonight I already got it on DVR. Go check out the um. It's called the um the Mannings. Tonight it's like sixty, you know, sixty for sixty or thirty for thirty. Yeah, they're doing like a thirty for thirty special about the Manning. That that family's like, like the holy grail of families because wow. they have all three quarterbacks. The family, the father Archie, uh, Peyton, and and Eli. They're gonna be they're hall, they're gonna be hall of famers. You know what I'm wow. saying? The only other the other brother doesn't really play football or anything like that, but he used to and stuff like that. But he's not like a hall of famer. But you think it's tough for him? Just being the other the, one? Yeah, just being a brother that just not as cold as his other brothers. And <laughs> they don't daddy. have enough money like those. Um, yeah. It's probably rough. Yeah, especially when you're a competitive family. So do you think Eli and Peyton, Peyton get along, or you feel like it's I a don't real know, they, they get along, but I was watching a little bit of the trailer, and they were saying, like, Peyton Manning, he grew up, he was, you know, he was just like the, the outgoing type, ready to, he was so competitive or whatever, but when Eli was born, they said that they feel like Eli was born with no, um, he doesn't cry. Eli doesn't <laughs> cry. So when they used to be real competitive, older brothers used to be competitive with him. Yeah. They used to try to make him cry. He just does not cry. He just has that mood. Like, he never knew who was around him. Like, he never felt like anybody was on his level. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Just ever since he was a baby. And they said that, like, he didn't care what people thought of him. He was just did whatever he wanted to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Peyton was more of, like, his father. You know, Archie Manning. Okay. Um, you know, Hall of Famer. But, but yeah, man. They're, like... It's They're, serious now. Yeah, serious. I mean, what's the name guy? Oh, also, Giants. What is going on with the Giants, dog? Yeah, they we got, just talking about Peyton Manning. What about the Giants? What I about, mean, Eli Manning. Yo, the Giants are looking wow. 
back. How's Eli looking? Eli's looking okay. Eli's looking like how Eli looks every single year. Like the first the, the first half of the year he looks like blah blah blah. Yeah. And he turns up, but the team always been okay. Yeah. Like the defense has been okay. They're getting crushed, dog. They're getting crushed. Last time I saw when I was looking at the uh the game and I stopped watching. I didn't even care about the final score. It was 31-0. Wow. It was like third quarter, 31-0. I was like, I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't need to watch this anymore. I don't need to watch this anymore at all. Like it was just it was just I don't know. I mean, Jacksonville looks horrible. They're talking about um there's four teams they said that might be coming to Hollywood Park now. What? Because you know they wanted to do the um they wanted to do the stadium over by the Staples Center right. in LA. And they just said that four teams are interested in actually coming to LA and playing at the Hollywood Park. So they're talking about making the Hollywood Park another stadium too. So they might have two teams in LA. Two football teams? Yeah, which would be great because one will be NFC, one will be AFC, and then we have two original teams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How many how major how major do you feel like that'll be for I mean, do you feel like it'll help Hollywood? Or you think it'll be just, you know, all right, cool. You think it'll take years for people L- to actually get adjusted oh, to? Oh no, it? nah. LA's begging for a team, dog. I'm 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 a huge Falcons fan, but I would not mind going to a football t- football game in LA and being an LA fan. Like that's how I would love that. How would you feel about that? Oh, um, honestly, I, I don't really have a real feeling about it. You know, um, I mean, I love football. Football is cool, but I don't feel like it'll change my life. Yeah. If I'm, you know, with a football team here, I mean, it would change the circumstances for a lot of other things. You know, because right. LA is the land of, you know, the opportunity. Opportunity for for a lot of people. Right. You right. know, you know, like we just talked about earlier for the. For the for the gold diggers, yeah, and such and such, that might turn up even more. Oh yeah, it might be extra. It'll be extra thirsty. It'll be dry out here because they're gonna be extra thirsty. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be extra thirsty. Football players? Oh man, you know what? At the same time, it might be a bad thing because it is L.A. Man, that's what I'm saying. It <laughs> is L.A. But I don't see I don't too know. many Lakers or Clippers getting really getting in trouble except for um, James Worthy. You know what I'm saying? James Worthy got in trouble with the Lakers. Remember a long time ago. You know, if if nobody knows that history, before the game, he got caught with some some bras too. I thought it was some smack. Some smack too. Yeah, some bras too. <laughs> Prost- LA, some and he smack. still went to the game afterwards. After the Joe, still went to the game. Still scored. Still did what he had to do. He still killed. Still killed. See, that I don't was think the they was doing. They, I don't think they were doing drug testing back then, like either. I don't think they, yeah, they were probably getting loaded. <laughs> The late hey, yo, show. Back, back then, that's when Coke was like legal. Everything was cool. Come on, man. It was popping in that late eighties. <laughs> Come on, man. That's what's up. I was hey. watching. I was watching. I'm sorry. I was watching uh, Magic Johnson talk about it when he first got here. He was like, "I'm not gonna lie to you." He was like, he, "They did an interview with him at the Playboy at the Playboy uh, uh, Mansion." He was like, "It's overwhelming." You know what I'm saying? He was like, five, six women a day. Like it's, yeah. it's crazy. This is pre HIV. He was saying all that. I'm like, man. Playing for the, being a star in the Lakers must be crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, I think Magic, he never really got caught up in drugs or alcohol. Right. But those women, those, those women, women catch you up. Oh, yeah, those women is probably one of the worst. I might have a call. I think we got a caller. Moega Sports and Music. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna keep it moving. We thought we had another well, caller. Diana, Diana show's over. Yeah, hey, hey, guys, listen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that show is up, man. All right, sports and music. <laughs> so this is what happens when you talk about sports and music. Right. So this weekend, allegedly, allegedly, Brandon Jennings had a birthday party over at Lore. I believe Lore is a daytime party that they do during the day on a Sunday. Right. Or whatnot, where, you know, a lot of celebrities and this, that, and other. I don't know if Game was actually the promoter for the party. I don't know if he was the, the DJ. I don't know if he was the MC Or minority owner. Or minority owner of <laughs> Club Lure that day, but apparently the boy Brandon Jennings, who just signed a, a nice little hefty deal with the Detroit Pistons, shout out to Detroit, that was a good look. Joe Dumars, good job. BJ, he nice. But um, yeah, man, I guess Brandon Jennings was extra turnt on the mic. I don't know if he said something bad about the Money Gang or is they Black Wall Street? What are they? I don't know what they are. I heard Rolex Records, then I heard Black Street, Black Wall Street, then I heard I don't know, I don't know. All right, apparently you know. Brandon Jennings was on a mic going hamster. 
And uh, I don't know. Game just didn't like it. I don't know if Game felt like he the intention wasn't on him anymore. Um, what did he feel? Did he, was he mad that Brandon Jennings made it to the league? And he, he didn't. I mean, what was it? Because I know I he they say he punched him, punched him in the mouth, punched the kid in the mouth, and they got to a scuffle. Hope it's not true, but you know that was the word on the streets. You know? Were they drunk? They didn't talk about whether or not you know what I'm saying. Were they drunk when it happened? Because I thought that I thought that game and, and Brandon Jennings and all them was cool. I thought that too, but apparently, you know, game will switch on you though, real quick though. He he will switch on you. You know what I'm saying? Like if he ain't feeling you, he will make sure that you know it. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand the situation. I mean, Brandon Jennings is a really good kid, but it was his birthday, so it was a good chance that you know he's highly intoxicated. Game could have been intoxicated. He probably said the wrong thing, but you know, here's the thing. Come on, man, can we all just get along? It's it's for what. Hip hop is getting whack, man. Hip hop, that's another. Look, that's thing. what it is, man. It's like hip hop is just getting whack. Let's just be one hundred. Like that stuff, people still doing that. Like what? That's whack. Come on, other genres man. are not doing that. It's just, I ain't, that's not what's up. Come on, that's I never, I ain't up, never man. heard. Let's kill it. Let's you know what I'm saying? It. I, let's kill it. I ain't never heard. You know, uh, uh, JJ Reddick <laughs> smack up Toby <laughs> Keith. Toby Keith. You know what I'm saying? At a party. Like, this, it's whack, man. It's buffoonery. It's nothing right. but buffoonery, man. You don't hear it's about... It's buffoonery, man. You never heard about, you know, the Waltons fighting with Bruno Mars or anybody yeah, like that. Yeah, it's, man. It's, happening, it's man. just stupid. Like, okay, game, look, we get it, man. Like, you run L.A. Like, okay, we get it. We understand that. We've been known that for a long time. Snoop doesn't really do it like he used to, you know? And, and, and back then, it was Suge Knight was smacking people up. Okay, game, we get it, man. Like... Just get out of the news, man. You know what's so sad about this? The people that I like, I like Game. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a dope lyricist. I think he he's very underrated, and sometimes I feel like he gets stuck in doing whatever rapper he's featuring, same flow. Yeah. I don't like that. But let's just be honest, man. Like, Game, you and Chris Brown, they hang out with each other. Are they boys? Right? Yeah, they boys. Okay. Chris Brown, blood. Blood out. That's okay. what it, you He's know. That's what they saying. They okay. claiming, but he hangs out with a lot of blood. He hangs out with gaming them. Look, both of y'all, man. Y'all both really talented. Stay out of the news, man. Stay out of the news game. You got a TV show, VH1 TV show, about your family. Stay out. Yeah, what Stay does that do? Public. Like, okay, like you look at a Ti. Ti, he's doing his thing, and you know what? Ti has been on four or five hit records this year. But he's oh, been clean. He's been consistent. He's and it's been consistent, consistent, man. I feel like he found his his niche in life. Yeah, because he found that family show. Yeah, the family show. I mean, really? at, at one point, I was like, oh, I don't know about that one. I liked it. But you know what T.I. You know, T.I. did the, made the, the best choice ever, man. He just started making good music, man. Yeah, man. He stopped explaining himself. He stopped talking right. about why he was getting in trouble. Right. He just went on air and just showed you that he loved his kids. Man. Right. That he was I a respect really father. He was a father. You know what I'm saying? A father first. He grilled cheese sandwiches for his little kids and right. for He's... the family. He go on costume parties and stuff like that. And, and then he come out and just make hit records. He had yeah. the number one hit record in the summer, Blur Lines with Robin Thicke. Shout out to Robin Thicke. And he got a new and record with, 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 with Iggy Azalea. That's you know going. He got he, he, and he's. You know what I like about Ti? What a lot of people don't know, and I'm a huge Ti fan. Like for real. Like since I'm serious. If y'all don't know that, like. Man, I'm from I'm from New Mexico, and like we we either bump South music, we was bumping South music or West Coast music. You know what I'm saying? And the South music that we were bumping was like more into like more underground stuff, like Chameleon Air, Paul Wall, Mark. Slim Thug, like that type of stuff. But at the time, Ti came out, nobody really knew who Ti was. His whole first album was produced by the Neptunes. Yeah. People don't even know. And it was slapping. Slap City. Slapping. So I'm glad that he's back getting with Pharrell again. You know what I'm saying? Put him in a good state. Because Pharrell, to me, Pharrell can actually song. make people feel yeah, better, song. make people sound better than what they are. You know what I'm saying? Robin Thicke, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for Pharrell, if it wasn't for Pharrell, then Robin Thicke wouldn't be where he's at right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and Snoop got his first platinum record. First <laughs> platinum record by himself. With Pharrell. Mm, nah, Doggy Star went platinum though. No, no, no. Single. No, no, yeah, his album did. His album did, but he was he was uh it was uh um, his first his first single though. His first single by himself, they saying that what's the name? That beautiful um beautiful girls? Oh, okay. That was like his first like major hit go worldwide, besides yeah. Doggy Doggy Style. That's what's up, man. You know, Pharrell and you know the whole Neptune's crew, you know, he 
you know, he's doing a good thing. I mean, I think I like Pharrell too, man. He's he's kept a clean image over the years, also. You know, yeah, man. If he, he do dirt, man, he you know you don't hear about it. You know, he, he still look twenty two. He still, I mean, he take care of himself. Yeah, you know? he do, man. Yeah, like, it's all good. I, re- he, I respect he, him. He man. stay young. He stay young, man. You stay. That's the thing, man. You gotta stay relevant. And he never really went with the trends. Like I, I, I look up to people like like him because he just stuck to whatever they do. They yeah. never were like, oh, okay, so now the 808s are in, I'm going to start doing 808s. Exactly. So just like, I'm just going to do what I do. Like, if there's an 808 in there, okay, good. But I wasn't trying to be I, like, yo. You have to respect it, man. Respect you know, for that. all you musicians and people out there that's doing music, just do you. You know, it's all good. Not to be, a, you don't want to be naive to what's going on out here musically. But if you make music and you make it because you love it, man, just do 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 what you love to do. And you'll probably get the best results out of it. Because I heard, it was a cool statement. It said, if you're doing something that you think other people are going to like, it's a great chance that most people are not going to like it. Right. So I respect uh, Pharrell, even Kanye West. Kanye West didn't bow out to, you know, whatever was going on at the time. You know, they just made the good music. And, and that's why they're still relevant today. Yeah, they're definitely, I, I think I think it's being original, just being who you are is, is what it is. Even as a person, like, you could take those same life lessons and, and apply it to you as a person, man. If yeah. you... The coolest kids that I ever knew, who I ever respected, were kids who thought outside the box, who weren't like anybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? The coolest kid I ever met, if it was a whole gang of us, and we all the same, it's the person who's not the same who's the coolest. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's better to be different than to be the same, man. And that goes to my next point. You know, it's always cool to be different, you know, and thinking outside the box. And that, you know, this this next song I'm going to play is called Interlock System. We're actually starting a campaign for it, and it's going to be a Really major campaign because, you know, it was a situation that happened to me a year ago where, you know, I was doing me. You know, I had a meeting. I had about three or four drinks. Got behind the wheel of a car. I was irresponsible. But, you know, I thank God that I made it out of that situation to talk to you guys about not making the same choices that I made at that point in time. So, about to get ready to play the song. Video coming soon. Shot by Louis Mayo. And it's going to be major. I promise you. You hear it first now. Sports and music. Turn it up, brother. Yo, this weekend started off breezing. Yeah, I'm feeling good for two reasons. Shot my first video Friday night. Saturday, I got a business meeting at the Four Seasons. Uh. Yo, I got there around noon. noon. They was on time, and they was on round two. Huh? They looking at me like, son, you better catch up. Huh? Yo, I barely ate that drink, had me messed up. One drink, turned into four more. I told the bartender I want more. One night, turned into two nights. They both agreed that we need to start taking shots. Dang, I'm too old for peer pressure. Lighten up, mo. You out here selling pills. And you in Beverly Hills with these brand new girls, so imagine how I feel. Yo, this interlock system is driving me nuts. Don't drink and drive a DUI sucks. Uh-uh. Cause this interlock is driving me crazy. It's beeping every minute, man, I'm trying to be patient. This interlock system is driving me nuts. Don't drink and drive a DUI sucks. Uh-uh. Cause this interlock is driving me crazy. It's beeping every minute, man, I'm trying to be patient. One swerve, turned into two swerves. Swerve. Black man in the black whip, no sir. Uh-uh. Not to mention in the black man's wish on the wrong side of town and it's all black tent. tent. Uh, and all black glasses. What? Sobriety test, I failed those classes. Yeah. Man, I blew three times over. We still had the nerve to tell the polls I'm sober. Now they in the front googling and giggling. I'm in the back seat feeling like a kid again. Man, those cops is foul, colder than Michigan. I'm about to go to jail, I'm about to be a missing man. Not to mention that the Blackberry locked up. I couldn't even tell my girl that I was locked up. What makes it worse is her parents in town. And me, I'm locked down, I'm just hoping they pop up. Yo, this interlock system is driving me nuts. Don't drink and drive a DUI sucks. Uh-uh. Cause this interlock is driving me crazy. It's beeping every minute, man, I'm trying to be patient. This interlock system is driving me nuts. Don't drink and drive a DUI sucks. Uh-uh. Cause this interlock is driving me crazy. It's beeping every minute, man, I'm trying to be patient. That's crazy, man. Yo, I, I, all I was worried about was my girl and them all, man. Real tough. I knew my mama. Yeah, so anyone that want to get behind the movement, rad. 
Rad is recording artists and athletes against drunk driving. You got mothers against drunk driving. There's so many different committees. You know, I'm, I'm reaching out to you guys to get behind the movement because it's it's actually serious. You know, a lot of individuals, you know, um, you know, get wasted and just get behind the wheel of a car. And um, trust me, it's not worth it. I went through the experience, paid a lot of money for it, paid for it, but now I'm here to turn a negative into a positive. So I want you guys to stay on board for it. It's going to be major, and it's going to be major. But we back again, sports and music with Mo Ager. That's Interlock System, coming soon. Bung bow. What we got, boy? So, NBA is announcing that they may or may not uh, put nicknames on the back of jerseys, only for the Heat and the Nets. How you feel about that? I think it's corny. You being, you being a former, you being a former NBA player. I think it's corny. Like I just don't want to see my name on the back of my jersey, Mo Ager. Nah, man, it takes away the professionalism of that league. People respect the NBA right. because it is the NBA. If right. people want and one Reebok Classic tournaments, you know, that's what they go watch. But right. people like the NBA because it's like, okay, this is official. We pay these men millions of dollars yeah. a year to look professional. You know, I, I think it's corny. What is going to have uh, King James on the back of the jersey? Right. That's what, well, that's what they were showing. Like, I'm, I'm like, I think myself, like, at first, I, I don't know how to feel about it because it'd be different if, Every league agreed to it. MLB agreed to it. NBA, NFL, all these teams agreed to do it for this one day. That would be cool. Yeah, like maybe like a... Yeah, but this is this is the problem I have. Now you're making it look unprofessional. Yeah. Okay? Now, there's one thing to take away the way a person, you know, can remember that you, you couldn't wear um, um, regular T-shirts and stuff like that in the NBA, and they took away that rule because it's called the Allen Iverson rule because he would come in with white T-shirt and a hat <laughs> and, and all his chains, and, and they, they were offended by that. And I'm like, man, he's just getting not like, he's just coming to play the game, and a lot of other, you know, leagues were doing that. That's one thing. They changed that and made it a little more professional. Cool. That I was great. That. That's great. That was actually great for the league. Great. Now you're going to go backwards? You're going to put nicknames? I don't want to see Bo, Bo Peep on the back of somebody's jersey. Bo Peep. Bo Peep. D-Wade. D, yeah, D-Wade. Come on, man. Disrespecting like Jason yeah. the Jet Terry. B- Birdman. Birdman in Miami <laughs> Heat. And then the real Birdman comes out and he's talking about he wearing the Birdman uh, jersey like he played for the Heat. I don't want to see that. That's corny. It's stupid corny. It's, it's like corny. It's, it says... Let's just go back to what we were saying on our way up here. It's just like they want to make everything hip hop, <laughs> yes. which is cool because they understand. But yeah, that's I where the money's at. I get it. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't get that I don't, one. Up. I don't like. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think it's just so stupid. I don't even believe. I don't even. I don't even. Why are they even bring that up? Like who? Who are they consulting? You know what, guys? It's unbelievable. We've talked about this. Y'all need to get better consultants. Consulting. Y'all need some better consulting because y'all don't know what's going on. Nobody likes that. I, I'm talking, and when I speak, I feel like I'm speaking for people who 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 feel the same way. Like <laughs> who feel the same same way. Like, come on, man, that's stupid, man. That's real stupid. Got to figure it out, y'all. Would you like if you when you were playing for the Dallas Mavericks and they had them back in your jersey, Motown? <laughs> would, wouldn't it make you feel like your efforts of getting your name out and showing who you are? Diminish? That's that's the point now. I'm getting my name out there as a artist, entrepreneur, now as Mo Ager. You know what I'm saying? My brand is the Motown brand, you know, because my name is Mo. I'm from Detroit City, Motown. And I got the whole album called Motown. I have the TV show coming out called Motown. And only the Lord knows what's going to happen after that. But I'm doing it on my time. All right. When I was a ball player, when I played ball, I didn't want yeah. that brand. My brand is, is separate yeah. from that. You wanted to be respected uh, in your in, in my in, lane, in your lane, whatever you were doing, in your field. Yeah, I think that's corny. And they can they can say Motown now. That's cool because you've already branded Motown. But don't be using. Come on, man! I don't want Yannick Beats on the back of my jersey, man. You better put, <laughs> you, better put you better put my real last name on the back, right? And my real number. Don't be trying to uh, make it all funny. Put sixty nine on the back of my jersey. You know, what else they gonna do next? Big numbers. Yeah, big numbers. 90, <laughs> 94. I'm a guard. Hey, man. I'm Metal a guard World Peace got the big. He always had the man, big numbers. Man, he's out of here though. His name is Metal World Peace. He's not Ron no more. He, he's he's not Ron Artest no more. He's Metal World Peace. Shout out to Metal World Peace. New Let's York Knicks, baby. Uh, <laughs> we in there. Let's go, man. This is Sports and Music with Mo Ager and Yannick. Holla at us, man. We just having a good time being ourselves, down to earth, talking about sports, music, life, in general. 
Check us out again next week. We'll have the boy Rashad Holloway. Box. He's Box. actually in a sparring session right now with Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto. So he's coming in next week on Tuesday. Sports music again, man. We're just putting it all together. Check us out. Easy Way TV. New Mexico, stand up. Detroit, stand up. Was I jocking? All right. What? All right, Mark. <laughs> Take us home, baby. Yo, what up, dog? Sports and music every Tuesday with Mo Egger. Let's get it. Uh. But meanwhile, uh, I'm doing me. Y'all should go and do y'all. Real talk, I ain't worried about you goofballs. See, I got coyotes in my new yard. So high up in the hills, man, I'm looking like a new star. Yeah, though, cause that's a sign of a come up. I done came a long way from that crib up on Homer. And that 91 Dynasty mama used to drive Focus, hope, and food stamps are what kept us alive Cause in the D, you better be stronger than Club Lane. Don't stunt, they ain't playing with them Hunger Games Cause like cream corn, they be running things From your autumn mirror rocks to your onion rings But I've been to Africa so long, I started clicking Eating game and fried chicken like it's my religion Two planes I'm in the building, I wouldn't trade it for the world, center of attention, uh, I guess we gotta win the hard way, cool kid, you can catch me in the hallway, the light's on.